Welcome to the WCDC World Cup of Diecast Cars. I'm your host, Matthew Harding, and today we have the Mate Shield quarterfinals. Eight strong teams remain, only four will make it to the final video. Let's get straight to it. So, just a reminder if the winning quarterfinalists today will go through to the 2022 Mate Shield and will have a 75% chance of making the Champions League at the end of the year. So first McLaren and Celine, and it is going to be Celine, is it? Yes! Good race there. What a really good race there. Yurchenko of Celine just finishes ahead of Clarke of McLaren. So this is very close already. 11-9. The other two, Crazy Canuck and Maria Bouquet, zero points. Now we have Yurchenko in front of Clarke with Maria Bouquet front of Crazy Canuck. Who's going to take it? Oh, Clarke's out of there just. She has been hunted down by that Celine. Celine, he drives her past, but he blocks her. She blocks him, rather. And oh, she's got it. What a move. What a really good block that was. And that has put McLaren through. I reckon if she didn't block him off between turns three and four there, Celine would have gone through. Yachenko would have got around. So that is a real key moment already in these quarterfinals. Right, we move straight on to, well, it's telling me the wrong thing. <laughs> it's saying McLaren and Celine. I'll have that fixed before this goes to air. And it is Renault and Bentley. And Renault's leading through Tim Balak. And he's been chased. Oh, and what a pass at the end there from Sergio Semedo. I kneel from Bentley whilst chasing Ballot down. Semino out of nowhere avoids his teammate Ineal, who stopped at checkpoint five. So this is a very close race again. Tim Ballot on the front left and Ineal on the front right. Saksak not doing very well. Saksak cut rolled over, I think, and it is Ineal with Semino. They're the only two, so Bentley's going to go through. Surely, look at them. Both of them. Oh, Semino has spun out on the last corner, but I knew will go the whole way. And in the end, Bentley, a comfortable victory, 28-15. Some really good driving there from Bentley. They're two finishes and two almost finishes. So that's some really consistent driving in this quarterfinal. So they are through to the semifinals, and Bentley will join McLaren in the 2022 Mate Shield. Right, let's take a break for the Duck Cup Challenge, and today it is the African nation of Chad to try and steal the cup from Sweden. First we have the Dodge Charger of Joel Issa Sieni. Sieni's car has flames on it, so we know it's going to be fast. His teammate is Marius Allen Batnauri in the Dodge Charger Drift Car. This is the car I really like the look of, but is it fast? And of course the holders are Sweden who now have three Duct Cup wins under their belt. John Tetley is quickly becoming the pride of Kelson Hill, even though he has moved out of the area. Nearby residents have been quick to start claiming him as their own, reminding the world that he practiced on the hill before it was even used for racing. Apparently me doing the same as far back as 2001 doesn't count. Moving on from that injustice, we go to Justin Ryan, who is becoming a household name here at Kelson Hill. Will he be as successful as Craig Lair, though? Right, can Sweden keep their winning streak going? Chad Maris Alan Batnari on the outside with Joel Sassini on the inside, but it's Justin Ryan who spins. Now, Alan Batnari, he's got no one else. Is he going to go all the way? Come on, go, go, go. Yes, he's going to make it. Just made it. So 12 points for Chad. Chad, a 10 points ahead of Sweden. Can they upset them? Wow, I, I didn't see this coming. It's not over here, though. Justin Ryan did get two points there, so give Sweden something. But Sweden really need at least one finish in this race. Preferably two. Now it's John Tetley on the inside. 
and had the front on the other side was Stevie alongside of him and it's well it's Justin Ryan. Oh he does does he just do a forward roll? He's going in reverse now. Now he needs to get to the end. Can he get to the end? It's looking likely he is gonna get to the end. Is it enough? It is enough. The judges have totaled the points. It is 16-14. That is very close. Alan Buckmary gained two points there. He got all the points for Chad. John Tetley got one. And I'm going to see a replay here. What happened here? Oh, now John Tetley got too high. And what a pass. And then a forward roll. So Justin Ryan got him on the inside of his teammate. Then did a forward roll. Then blocked off Alan Batnary. And like the last race of the Make Shield, that block made all the difference. Now, let's move on to Ford versus Datsun. And Ford is on JoJo's on the inside. And JoJo's what? Whoa, JoJo nearly came off. But oh, she, she's been pushed by. Gavri Geo Gavri Mullard. And who is that out there? I think that is Ghost Rider. Yes it is. Ronaldo Ghost Rider. Six points there. Milan two. So Datsun has an eight four lead. The Enchanter from Norfolk did not get any points, so he needs to get his enchanting butt into gear. Where is he? I think I can jump through here. It's hard to see. We're going to get some better camera work, so it's hard to see on that first corner. Anyway, we have that Datsun in front of Jojo, the Datsun of Milan, but Jojo pushes him out of the way, and Jojo's way out in front here. Does this mean Ford are going to go through? Because Jojo is going to go all the way. What a good performance from Jojo. She has been consistently consistent and fast. All the way through here, look at that, 17 to 8, and then Ford win easily. The Enchanter didn't get any points, didn't contribute at all. Disappointing from the Enchanter. Now we have Pontiac and Lotus, and this is going to be close. I know this one's going to be close. Lauren Antwit and Sharky. And Sharky got out of there first, but someone passed him. In fact, it was a teammate, Hugh Boyd. But now we've got Lamptey, four on his own, because everyone else is wiped out, and Lamptey's going to wipe out on the last corner. Pontiac take a slight lead, 8-6. There is Sharky and Antwi. Two of the fastest drivers in this competition so far. And Hugh Boyd on his road. Now Sharky. He does very well when he's got no one ahead of him. So can he turn this around for Lotus? Oh, he's on the side. Oh, no. Well, I don't know who got through there first, but oh, and Sharky's wiped out on his roof. That could be it. Oh, maybe not, because he was just pushed over that line. Lotus have done it. Oh, my gosh. 13 to 12. That little push at the end there from Antwi made all the difference. If Antwi had just gone around instead... It would have been Pontiac through instead of Lotus. So well done, Lotus. Lotus, Ford, uh, McLaren and Bentley are our four semi-finalists.